Hello, in this video, I will show how to use exam.net to first register and then create an online exam for our students. Okay, so we have to first go to the website, which is called exam.net, like this, okay? And then um, you will get this screen. We go to the teacher tab. And from this teacher, of course, if you don't have an account yet, we need to register. From registering, okay, we select the country and region, our Batum Thani and AIT. Then you type in your name, your email, and so on. Make sure that the email address is AIT email address, AIT.Asia, something like that, and then your password. Because if you don't use the AIT.Asia, you will not be allowed to register as a teacher and then accept the term and then click on register. You will get an email to confirm your registration as well. So don't forget to click on the confirmation in your email sent to the register email address that you've provided here. And then I will go back because I already have my account registered. So I just simply sign in. Okay, then here is the welcome screen. If you don't have any exams created yet, you will have nothing here, okay? We simply create a new exam. All right, so I type in the name demo exam, okay? And next section, we need to provide details of the exam, that is the exam paper, exam questions. Um, the easiest way is to make your exam in Microsoft Word, whatever, and then you um, upload a PDF file of your exam paper. Okay, this is the one I already have. Okay. Okay, here is this. And then I will just go over and go to the next detail, student information. What kind of detail that we want student when working on the exam to fill in the data about themselves. So let's say for simplicity, I just require them to fill in first name, last name, and then student ID. Then next is the working space of the students. What do we allow them? First, definitely we need to allow writing area, which allow them to write their answer in the online provided uh, area. Okay, and okay. Next, spell check, we don't allow. Scan handwritten solutions with a mobile phone. With this option, it means that um, in case you want student to write some answer on a paper and then take a photo of that paper using a mobile phone and upload that photo into this exam platform, okay? Then we turn this option on. The next, um, tools that we need to go into the detail and enable or disable up to you, okay? This is accessibility tools, translation, we skip, dictionary, synonyms, okay, here. This part is um, useful in case you want to provide additional documents for students to read along with their exam doing. That means you want to give them some paper to read, okay, or for open book exam, you might want them to refer to some materials, then you provide those materials beforehand. So let's say for me, I use this one, okay. Then it will be uploaded. And okay, once the upload is complete, then you click OK. It will be there as part of the exam for your student. You can add more, of course. You may have reading number one, and then add one more reading, number two, number three, number four, up to you. Okay, let's say I have this one as well. Okay, wait a little while. Ah, okay, it comes. All right, then we click on okay. Then we have already two reading available for them. Audio files will be useful if um, perhaps for English exam, okay, you might want them to listen to some files. Then, okay, subject tools. This one, you can allow calculator, which is a built-in calculator with this um, um, student area. 
And also what is interesting is programming, maybe for ICT students. And pro we may want to enable programming part in JavaScript and Python. And drawing tool, this one could be useful for many of the exam, which allows students to draw some pictures, diagrams, and um, yeah, we can see how it is like in the student area when we use um, student demo. Okay, external resources. In this case, it means you might want to allow um, URL of external website that student can visit. But I think this is kind of um, very dangerous a little bit. So we skip this one for a while. Then this one is the security. Okay, we should use this option allow any browser that means students will work on the exam on their web browser on the laptop or computer desktop they are working on so any browser could mean internet explorer um, chrome firefox and so on okay and then we need to set this one this is very important the setting for lower security mode Okay, with this setting, you have several options. If students try to um, switch from the working area to open some other programs or files stored within the computer, the instructor who monitor the exam will be notified. Okay, so there are several options to set here, but the one that is recommended is this one require explanation and manual unlock by the teacher. That means every time student makes certain cheating attempt, I mean, it may not be all the time cheating attempts or can be unintentionally, but if somehow students switch from the browser to other program, then the session is locked automatically and students cannot continue working on the exam anymore until the teacher or exam uh, invigilator unlock the session for students. So this is the case for that option. Okay, select this one. If we turn off cheat protection completely, that means student can do anything. So it is like um, very open environment. Okay, so this one will be the case for this demo. Okay, then we are done. We can create the exam now. Once we create the exam, okay, make all the setup and so on. We will get this list, um, this in the exam list of my exams, okay? And you can see this is the exam name that we just created. This one exam key, this is a key that student has to enter when they want to start doing the exam. And here, this option, open for new students. That means we are making this exam available for students to work on. So whenever you want to start your exam, allowing students to work on the exam, we turn on this option, okay? So right now, if students is informed of this exam key and the exam is already open, then anyone can start working on the exam. Okay, then we see the video demonstrating the um, student taking exam in another one. See you.